Hey guys, Scanner Danner here with my son Caleb behind the camera and a former student right next to me. His name is Keith. And um, we're at one of Keith's friend's businesses. This is a landscape company about an hour away from the house. And um, we have this 2010, I believe, Chevy truck that we're pretty sure is a CAN network fault and it came from an auction and it's never run. The only reason that I agreed to this is because of my friend Keith. I would have said no to this job. I had it, to beg and plead. He did. <laughs> so Keith's a really, really close friend now, former student, but now really close friend. When were you in my class? Like six or seven years yeah, ago? Uh, 2017, yeah, 2017. Yeah, so as a favor to my friend, we're doing this auction vehicle that I'm not excited about. But let's get started. I have my OBD breakout box connected because I'm anticipating some CAN network stuff. And um, let's scan it, see what we got. 2012 GMC Sierra. Yeah, we have some service stability track, service trailer brake system. Sounds like Brandon's truck, if you remember. Mm -hmm. Left rear tire low, out of air. Service airbag, just reading the messages on the dash. Service theft deterrent system. Service traction control, service stability track. And then right here, oh, it at least clicks. So I got no COM with the ECM. I got a code in the TCM, four in the EBCM. What's the TBCM? Trailer brake control module. TDM is what? Theft deterrent module. Cool, shows the codes. Unprogrammed transponder identification, security system controller in learn mode. Low brake fluid, lost column with ECM, lost column with PCM, lost column with TCM, lost column with ECM. So we got nothing with the ECM. Um, I'm thinking, I just want to see if this ECM is even alive and talking. Okay. Just a quick 5 volt reference check is all I'm doing here. Just going down the line. Point 0.1 on that one. Point 0.06. Yeah. You have one? Point 0.03. We have no 5 volt ref. That's awesome. I mean, that's awesome from a standpoint of troubleshooting this ECM. Um, it may not be awesome. It's an auction vehicle. Who knows whose hands have been in here and you know, what fuses might be blown or, but the fact that I have no five volt ref is gonna keep me within the ECM itself and not necessarily the, the network. So no five volt ref on that sensor is telling me that this ECM is not alive right now, which we already know because we have no calm with it. Um, but I think the next easiest step, because we have no five volt ref there, fuse box first. And we just did a fuse box one on my truck. Is that the only reason you're going to the fuse box? Look at that fuse that's angled right here. Yeah. What is that all about? So number four, we'll go after that. I'm just going by the fuse box that says engine 15 amp. So number four is that guy. So this fuse right here, nothing on that. Nothing on that, so it's dead on both sides. So is that gonna be relay controlled possibly? There's ECM throttle control. Number five, where's five at? Be this guy right here. Nothing on him, nothing on that. 12 ECM bat. It's like completely corroded, just like mine. So I got I got kind of five volts there, there's 12, but I got nothing on this side. So it can't be like the same stupid shit. Majorly corroded, right. just like my truck was. Okay. You got it? Yeah. I think, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Is it broken? Doesn't look blown. No, but I had nothing on the one side at all. I need a 10. Sweet, I got one. <laughs> that's, <laughs> okay. That's dumb. All right. That's dumb. I got 12 volts there now. I mean, that's where I, I didn't have anything there and I had like, 
I had like six volts on this side and you see I got 12 and 12 now. And then what was the other ECM fuse? It was this one up here. Let's see if that one, that, that one has power now. <laughs> That one has power now. I wonder if it starts. I feel like we're winning already. That's fine by me. He he was making it seem like it was gonna be a hey, day. Hey, we got long. five volts back. Go ahead, try it. Ah, uh, try it. All right. So I hear clicking out here. Do that again. It's been doing that every time though. Yeah. Okay. Let me rescan it now. The fact that my ECM is alive Wait, is a good thing clear and reread okay there we go we got ECM now all right so we have a, a no crank now that we need to try to handle I'm going after that just the regular crank circuit unprogrammed transponder identification code received so that that could be an issue there's three different keys here Oh, there's four different keys here and they all crank, they all turn it. <laughs> Two aftermarket ones. <laughs> One key works, three of them don't. Hey, it runs, we're done. <laughs> well, I think, I mean, you'd think the ECM would have told me that, but like that key, so that's the one with the little white tab. That one works. It wasn't showing us. These ones. Was it showing us this earlier? And now it's working. I don't know if it was just like, they're all working now. So, what the? Okay. So I don't know if that, was like a code clear that I needed to do. Like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know why. And then this one, this TDM uh, unprogrammed transponder, but I, is that the transponder in the key or is that just talking about this guy? Okay, so I just cleared that code. And I, you know, I, the other thing that I did is I manually went into the trailer brake control module and cleared the faults out of that. And then, so I don't know if it was the combination of, of that. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't see any correlation like in the description and operation. Um, but since you mentioned, you know, going into the ECM and doing the bi-directional test, I mean, I don't know that we really need to do that at this point, no. but here's our starter relay. It should it should crank it so i guess in that mode it's not gonna start it oh shit. was that what mode were we in when i was manually doing it before see that the weird part is me manually energizing that like i couldn't make it do it i want to see now so the key's on yep. this should work for me to manually start this and it doesn't so i guess that's because i'd have to have the key hold that's right i forgot about that on these computer controlled systems if i don't hold the key in the crank position it's not going to start because that command's not there so i'm bypassing the control completely here here now watch now what do you think it's doing it's not commanding fuel correct yeah so these newer systems it's kind of smarter than than we think the ecm's looking at that crank circuit from the ignition switch and like manually here look i can crank it right keys off but if i go to the run position and do it again still oh it let me that time i guess it's like a key cycle thing that's interesting yeah like at one point so there's key on I don't know. I don't know. It's fixed. I've, Gears, I've, man. Well, I've done these before where you do have to hit the key in the crank position to get, to the get that command input to say, hey, we're good to go uh, for the engine to start. So that kind of threw me off a little bit there. Uh, but yeah, then all this was was just a fuse. It was. And as soon as this we replaced red, that, you could hear a click. Yeah, right. Because there was no voltage there. And the rest of these, like, there's other corroded fuses in here, man. 
do a smart scan again. I got a code in the ECM now. Oh, because I had the starter relay out. So we still have some tire pressure lights on. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Yeah. Service airbag. I wonder if it's that same fuse for, for mine for the airbag system, Caleb. So I didn't even, like our SRS, S supplemental inflatable restraint is not talking to us either. We should take a look at we it should, just because we drove we should, we should look at it just because because this, this, you know, given the fuse box issue, you can't like stage this, like this. <laughs> especially because we just did my truck, <laughs> like, like it's two like weeks freaking ago. deja vu. <laughs> yeah, this is like definite deja vu here. Wait, did I leave the key on? Yeah, key's on. Forty-five. Airbag battery. Airbag bat. There's no power there. Meaning like that, this fuse is like destroyed just like mine. <laughs> Same thing. It, it really is. I think that means it's a, it's a. <laughs> oh, oh man. What are the chances of that? It's the do exact you, same thing. Do you got it? Yeah. You got it? Uh-huh. <laughs> is this just corrosion? Oh, like the pins are just gone they're inside the box maybe maybe i don't have the crud of death on my airbag module and it's just this box the whole time yeah. dude the prong is still are in you there kidding me? there i can even get this one out. oh no the prongs just dude that's what you did last time you freaking can... snapped the prong we literally just did a video on my truck keith Exact same thing. Yeah, I remember because uh, this is the, you, it was the you, exact you filmed the little uh, intro when we were heading down the camp. Yeah, here he's getting a 20 amp in there, <laughs> dude. Good luck. The freaking thing, oh, it'll stuff it right down in there. That's what we did on the truck. It'll like it's so deteriorated and gone. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's going in. I mean, this should be a 15 amp, not a 20, but it's what I have right now. Fuse is installed. Nice, nice. Dude, come on. <laughs> I mean, what are the freaking chances of that, man? No airbag light. <laughs> let's see if let's see if it's talking now on the yeah just on the scantor. He needs a fuse box, Keith. Yeah, I'm gonna recommend it. I mean, I need, I need one in mine too. I mean, he got the truck for like a thousand dollars, so. I mean, he did, he did good, I guess. I got a code in the instrument panel now. It's hey, we're talking thing. to the, the airbag now. <laughs> All right, so instrument panel, lost calm with restraints module. That's, I would that's, imagine related clear that. to the uh, SIR. Let me, I just cleared it, it's gone. All right, done. of this Stop. era have fuse box problems. <laughs> yeah, that's all it was. The 50 reference check is still like one of the best ones to use to to tell you that you got a module that's not alive, you know, especially when when it, it really wasn't a network issue. You know, we confirmed that showing the 60 ohms on the data link connector and uh, yeah, so it ended up not being a can issue. Yeah. I mean, we're uh, going off very preliminary information sure. from what I was getting yeah. to you yeah. before you came here and looked at it, you know? Yep. Just a no comm. And we did have a whole bunch of no comms, but it was all related to the ECM only. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, pulling a 5 volt ref sensor off and checking for, you know, that reference is was clutch and then going right after fuses and then there here we are here we are right back at the fuse box weird stuff with the crank circuit on why it wasn't working initially i don't know what was going on there and i apologize to you guys on some loose ends there it probably had to do with key cycling and clearing codes and i just didn't do it in the right order there and then somebody out there that has an answer for that yeah, possibly I, I think the answer is already here i think yeah. i think it really revolved around the codes that were in there cycling the key at the right uh, time too. And then we had we had that one theft code. So I don't, I don't know. Guys, I hope you learned something. I'm not sure we did on this one. Another <laughs> crappy fuse box. Uh, but yeah, we were you at made least my life a lot easier. Man. Able to bail out my friend yeah. who helps me out tremendously 
Um, good in telephone poles. My good friend Keith. He's he's smiling. I'm smiling. We're all happy. All right, we're all happy. Yeah. We'll see you next time, dude. I, what are the chance? Like we put that off for four years. Just to have it done at the same time as this. How? This is so strange.